Hey everyone, welcome back. We have a Disney villainous puzzle for you guys today. I know it's been a while, kind of, sort of. I know in retrospect it hasn't been for the channel, but it has been a while for me. There's a couple of interesting different things about this one I find versus other vill villainous puzzles. And my main question is, is it going to be harder or easier? So let's dig into this bad boy and let's find out. Hey everyone. Welcome back. So, today, I finally get to crack open this new Disney villainous puzzle. We are doing Hades today. It kind of feels like it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. I mean, in hindsight of the channel and the videos, it has not been a while since we've done a villainous one. I mean, we just did Ursula a little ways back. That's like February, March, something like that. When, when was before we got crazy busy? Uh, anyways, um doing Hades today. If you can believe it, I have actually had this puzzle kicking around since before the start of the big Disney puzzle. And I really wanted to crack it open and it's been really driving me crazy so I'm really happy that we finally get to do this today. It has been waiting a while. Um, and of course, last time we did Ursula and Casey did not find his hidden Mickey. So today he is to try to find the hidden Mickey as well in Hades, if indeed a hidden Mickey actually exists. I am not convinced they do. I think he's a cuckoo bird and so do a lot of other people, but that's okay. He can, he can be a unique one in that sense. He's totally ignoring me right now. He's, prob oh. he's probably Googling it or something. No, I don't need to. Oh, he's just so convinced that he's right that way. Um, so, right off the hop, one of the things that I notice about this series that's different from the other Villainous series, I, it's all the same, but the original six, like Hook and Ursula, Queen of Hearts and all that, they were a set of six. They have changed the art style a little bit for this. Like before, it was more pictures hanging on a wall, and I don't know if this is Hades specific, just because the um, the background kind of worked with it, but all the pictures seem much more conjoined together in this one, and there really isn't any dead wall space. It's just the quote unquote frames or patterns around the pictures, and then no dead space in between. So that's a big difference that I noticed right off the hop, and I kind of wonder if that's gonna make it easier or harder. I also find that this one in general just seems to be darker than some of the other ones, but I mean that it's it can be kind of hard to tell based on the box. I'll know a little bit more once I crack this open. I'm going to be curious to see. So far to date, I think I've found Scar the easiest, I have to say, out of all the ones that I've done. It'll be interesting to see where this one falls based on the less wall pattern. Oh, and hey, fun fact, I've actually never seen Hercules. I hear really good things about it as far as the Disney movie goes, but like, I've, I've never seen it. It was just one of those weird ones that fell through the cracks. Ah, anyways, you guys. Um, so roughly two and a half hours is my normal standard time with these ones. I'm really curious to see if I will actually fall within that kind of length with this. So let's finally crack this guy open. He's only been waiting since like January. Oh my goodness, that's way too long. That's far too long in puzzle language. Anyways. Ah, uh, let's break it open. Goodbye, wrap. It's like the only thing that really doesn't matter at all in the puzzle. That's not for you. What are you doing? I didn't. You're right. Yes, the not. Oh, quick, quick. He says. In a figment of his imagination. This is all different, eh? Right? So different from the other style. It's literally just the frames type uh, thing. Lies. It's, it's, I don't believe you. It's in behind where it was torn. Okay, well, give it to me. Where it was torn. That's where it was supposed to be. No. Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. But it got torn. Actually, look! <laughs> That shouldn't stop you. You know how to unlock it. Yeah. You're a big kid. I'm a big kid now. Oh. 
It should make it easier. Every border is different. I know, right? Like, there's no... And, I mean, usually the frames are kind of similar, but, like, this one, everything is clearly different. And so far, everything is lighter and brighter in true person. Not in box. The pieces even... It could just be that it's been a while since I've done a normal thousand-piece puzzle, but the pieces even seem really big. Mean. First you made me hungry this morning for breakfasty foods. Now you're making me hungry for wings. Like what is this? Oh, I know. You're shot for two hours. I can order wings. I can you know, do whatever I want. You know what? This is gonna. Now, thank you. Uh, hey, by the way, you guys. So we learned a cool thing through the analytics that YouTube like sorts its search terms. It'll listen a little bit. And there must have been an episode we were talking about, like, fridge organization or something, and it classified that, and, and it, it's really weird. So, now it's going to put us under wings. So, if you can't find this video, search chicken wings of all things. It'll come up! <laughs> I'm sure I didn't describe that right, but that's fine. Well, you did a pretty good job. Oh, did I really? I, I think what you, what, what you were trying to say, well... So, because it's video, there's closed captioning, and then uh, YouTube will take the closed captioning and use the words, and then it becomes part of a transcript. So, if someone's searching puzzles, it will look through the whole video quickly or know the transcript and see, oh, she talked about puzzles. This is clearly a puzzle video. Um, at some point on one of the other videos, I was talking, I w really want to get these clear bin fridge organizations. <laughs> And then when you go when you go and look at YouTube stats that shows how people found you, you know like you know seventy percent found you by looking up jigsaw puzzles, you know four percent found, found you, this, and then it was like one of the highest percentages found us by fridge organization. organization. And it's like what? And I was like, oh, I said it, I said it. So there must not be such a big search term. So because well now we just said it like eight times. So <laughs> that number should like double. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so I do apologize if you've come to this channel looking to learn about fridge organization and you've gotten a puzzle. Yeah. I suppose you could put a puzzle in a fridge. I really don't know what that would do for you, but you could do it. <laughs> The things you learn in all the backdoor analytics and stuff. Well, I guess it's a good way to kind of sort that or or, or cheat your algorithm. Algorithm by yeah. just talking about current so if I whatever. Just, it's like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Johnny Depp well, and Amber Heard. This is like <laughs> if we just start doing a channel just like Mr. Beast, but that's all we do. Popular YouTube search terms. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, I said it more times than you. <laughs> Start keeping scores and get the boogie boards out and be like, one, 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 one. <laughs> There's been places that have tips up, that restaurants, remember, that do tips. And it has uh, two cups, Team Johnny, Team uh, Amber. And the Team Johnny is just packed uh. full. And poor Amber's got nothing. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Oh, wild wings are good. They're so expensive. Wild wings, wild wings, wild wings. <laughs> Not a sponsor, but we'll accept there. We will, we will accept free dinner. <laughs> Just saying, it's something that we would, we would be willingly take. <laughs> pretty, I like. The poutine. This looks amazing. That's all. I've never. Cares mm. about the poutine. I want the honey garlic. I mean, poutine is good and all. Oh. Yes, you guys, funny story for you. This boy comes, this boy tells me he's going out to get bag tags for the I garbage, <laughs> right? And you come back, and I don't see the bag tags in person. He's got this thing of poutine, and I'm like, that is the funniest looking bag tag I've ever seen. For those of you that don't know, when cheese curds melt, they get all stringy and stuff. And I'm like, well, mm, I guess you could put that on the garbage bag, but I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, yeah. Bagged tags. I got bag tags. They're right across from each other. 
Oh, and for those of you that don't know about bag tags, we did kind of explain them once upon a time in a live, and I remember lots of people were like, what? We are forced to, when we want to throw our garbage out here, you have to buy a stupid little sticker. <laughs> that, uh, it basically this gives you permission to throw your garbage out. Yay! <laughs> we're generating more garbage to throw our garbage out, you know. <laughs> Clever, right? Yeah. Hmm. We do pay taxes. That's the, the ironic thing. We pay taxes and stuff here. Um, that is not included, apparently. Or at least not, it doesn't cover it. Mm. Mm. There you go, fun fact.
right, you guys. So I will say, um, in some senses, so far I'm finding this puzzle a little bit easier. There were decent edges. Um, the, the top had like the regular two line rows that they normally get, but there was also like this bottom and top row that were really obvious. So that was kind of like a free row of pieces. I will say though, I gotta say, this is actually one of the slowest villainous puzzles I think I've ever done. And I think the reason is, I don't know the characters. I really, like, as I'm doing it, I'm like, well, who's this little dude? Oh, he's over here again. Uh, I think if I knew the characters, this would be a way faster puzzle. So I think that's contributing to it as well. All in all, I am having fun with it. That was just a cool little thing that as I was finding along the way, I was like, I don't know, this looks like this, there's red over here kind of thing. Like, it's just a pure color and things sort because I don't know any of these I mean, I know Hades, but like only through pictures and stuff. I couldn't tell you who this little devil dude is and what's this little blue thing. Like, mm -hmm. um, so having actually seen the movies helps with these puzzles. Uh, so, hey, Emma, I'm in the same boat as you right now for this one because you don't watch Disney either. Um, not that I don't watch Disney, but I mean, I've never watched this Disney puzzle. So I'm going to go back at it. we go. Oh, there you have it, you guys. One Disney puzzle that I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> I know that there's Hades. I know that one. 
But, uh, oh, yep, yeah, and Hercules. I know two whole character names. Got me! Um, there's the blue angel dude. There's this little devil thing. There's this weird little other blue thing. You know, there's Cerberus, probably. I don't know if they changed his name in the cartoons. I don't know who this chick is. I got no idea. There's a Pegasus, you know. All in all, um, once I got rolling with it, I did find it easier. I will say it would be so much easier if I knew the characters. Like, way, way easier because I would know, oh yeah, that's so-and-so and they look like this and this is a scene from this movie. Yeah, I didn't have any of that this time around. So I do still hold true. I do think like Scar and some of the originals are the easier ones so far for me. Um, let's do a quick close-up cam so you guys can see all the pretty stuff. Mm, really choppy again still. That's weird. Ready? Mm. Sure. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I could not find any hidden Mickeys in all my work. You didn't look hard enough. You didn't look hard enough. And then like last all... Where, yeah. Mm. I remember on the way here, I was like, where uh, my sunglasses? And I was like, where are my sunglasses? Like, I thought I left them where I must have taken them. If I took them, that means they're still at home. So yeah, you guys, here's like a whole bunch of scenes from the movie. I couldn't tell you what's what because again, I've never seen it. So like, you can make up your own stuff. Okay, see, it's this little blue dude. Like, who the heck is that? And then there's this little devil dude. I like this molten thing, whatever it is. I think that's really cool. It's like this wave of lava. Roar! Oh, yeah, and that's Zeus. I really only know this again because of mythology. I, you know, I'm guessing. I mean, they could have changed the character names. But there you go. So, yeah. All in all, a very fun puzzle. Again, no idea who's who. No idea what characters are what. Pretty sturdy altogether. I could probably pick this up and move it if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, typical Robinsberger, good quality brand, all that good stuff. The color's good, the piece fits good, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed another Disney villainous puzzle. Yay! I'm gonna have to get more in the series now because I gotta have them all. You can't just start a series and not have all of them. Uh, other OCD collectors out there will totally know what I'm talking about. It is a gift and a curse, 100%. Anyways, you guys, that's all for me this time around. Thank you for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hit Mickey boy, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>